Here's the tuition and dates. Summer sale, apply before June 5th to save $500. Summer sale for internships, they're selling internships. They are selling you a job. What if I told you, you had to pay over $3,000 to get an internship, but not only any internship, an unpaid internship. You would probably say, Josh, that's a scam. Why would I ever pay to apply to a job? That's that's crazy. Let alone, why would I pay money to do an unpaid job? That sounds like some multi-level marketing type stuff, right? Am I, am I selling essential oils? There's a program that exists that is called Career Up. And what they do is they specialize in placing you with one of the these amazing partner companies that they have. You can pay these people a bunch of money and they'll let you work for free at some company. I just couldn't fathom paying thousands of dollars for an unpaid internship. So this is career up here. Um, your best internship guaranteed. Explore the world, intern abroad, apply now. And so you apply and then you get offers. You get internship offers, which are amazing. A top five guaranteed positions, but remember, None of these positions are paid. So is it really an offer if someone's offering to let you work for them for free? I feel like this is gaslighting in the corporate world. That doesn't make any sense at all. You can see internship experience is two times more valuable than your GPA or university ranking. The best internships are found abroad in the world's fastest growing economies. Apply today to see which positions we will find for you. So you get inspiring internships, not just regular internships. It's, uh, dude, I feel most inspired when I'm able to pay my bills personally. Modern housing. So you get a, you get to like share dorms or something with a bunch of people. Epic activities. Wait, I thought this was about internships, not about epic activities. I thought this was about building my resume, not about epic activities. Travel opportunities. Well, yeah, that's part of the package. Amazing food. I thought this was about internships and building a resume. New friends that you probably won't be able to see again since you all live in different countries and all those countries have different visa regulations. Awesome co-workers, that's subjective. Also, they have alumni, as you can see. Here's a testimonial from one of our alumni. I was lucky enough to land an internship with one of the top companies on the planet, General Electric. One of the top companies on the planet. Who, I don't, when I think of one of the top companies on the planet, I don't think General Electric. Imagine going to college, spending thousands and thousands of dollars at college of, of someone else's money, right? So you have a bunch of student loans, and then going to pay to get an unpaid internship. I mean, I feel like you gotta be really, really, really desperate. They have a bunch of different industries that they provide unpaid internships for that you can pay to get. Advertising, marketing, accounting, computer engineering, entrepreneurship, HR, NGOs, real estate. But one that I wanted to look at was like, oh, you're providing an unpaid internship for entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship doesn't really make a lot of sense. How do you get a degree in entrepreneurship? It's like the anti-definition of what it is. Like there's no path to being an entrepreneur and that's what an entrepreneur is, but somehow this is a path to it. I pulled it up, I was like, what? We offer remote internships for entrepreneurship in some of the most exciting startups and social programs. Okay, and so this is an example company that you work with. Direct Interactions. Direct Interactions helps customer-obsessed organizations deliver outstanding customer calls with highly skilled, emotionally intelligent US-based agents. Congratulations, you just paid over $3,000 to work at a call center and without getting paid. Do you wanna get yelled at customers all day long and have that internship on your resume and be in more debt and not get paid to do the work? All in the name of, well, one day if you learn how to do these customer calls, you'll be an entrepreneur. Is this, are you serious? Here's the tuition and dates. Summer sale, apply before June 5th to save $500. Summer sale for internships, they're selling internships. They are selling you a job. Now again, the question I asked, you at the beginning of the video. If I told you you had to pay a bunch of money to be able to work this job and make no money at it, would you call that a scam? And we're not saying that this is a scam, but in theory, the idea of having to pay someone to be able to do a job would be a scam. They're offering you a remote internship program for $3,440. So let's look at it. Guaranteed remote internship placement in a pre-approved online internship of your choice. A personal career coach, a career coach to support you for the duration of your remote internships program. Interview preparation coaching session, so you get one coaching session. LinkedIn and resume optimization session. Post remote internship coaching session. 12 months of online business skills training. Over 15,000 online classes powered by Skillshare. Okay, so you get you get a one year subscription to Skillshare. Custom curated courses and learning paths. I don't understand what any of this really means. It's all kind of vague. For $3,440,
you too can stay at home and not get paid to do a bunch of work for somebody else. So they have an FAQ. Will I be paid during my internship? Career Up internships are unpaid and Career Up does not charge businesses to use our placement service. So a bunch of businesses are coming to Career Up and they're saying, Hey, we need people to do a job, but we don't want to pay them. Can you give us some people? What kind of company respects their workers enough to where they don't pay them? Would you even call that respect? Would you even want to work for these companies that don't want to pay you? Like, that, that shows a clear indication that they just don't give a fuck about you. They just want to bring you on and get you to do work. That doesn't, why would I be thankful for the opportunity for someone who's clearly looking to get a bunch of free talent? They clearly don't value the skills that you have or they'd be paying you. This sounds like a win-win for everybody but you, <laughs> honestly. The company gets free labor, this company makes a bunch of money, and you take out a loan or spend thousands of dollars to do a bunch of work for free to get a stamp on your resume. I mean, at that point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make an LLC, make a company name and employ myself as a developer and just put developer and it's cheaper and at least I'm building my brand. They try to explain away why it's okay to be an unpaid intern, which is disgusting. The approach of being an unpaid intern allows us to work with the highest quality organizations. Really? Because I feel like the highest quality organizations would want to pay for their labor. They would want to pay for their workers. Additionally, as an unpaid intern, you are able to avoid the significant legal and tax requirements of paid workers. They're trying to tell you that it is a burden to be paid because you have to pay taxes. Are, did, are you trying to tell me it's better to not get paid? Well, we got bills. I don't understand. Do they just think that you're stupid? They must think that you're stupid. The real value of an internship is in the benefit it provides to your resume. Just make, make up some shit on your resume. We've already been over this. It's okay to lie on your resume. Might be a little unethical, like, might be a little immoral, but I'm gonna tell you right now, neither of those things are illegal. I'm gonna make some paper. You, you go ahead, you work for free. Having international internship experience will help you land a higher level job after graduating. I'm gonna tell you right now, as somebody with a degree from Finland, living in the United States. It did not help me when I put that on my resume because they thought that I needed a visa. And whenever they saw work experience or educational experience from another country than the United States, they put that shit in the trash because they're like, oh, sorry, we got to sponsor this guy. Oh yeah. And you're like, wait, 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 no, 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 no. I'm actually a, a, a citizen, but I just, I just went to school there or I just worked abroad there. You're not going to get the time of day to explain that. They're going to take that. They're going to throw it in the trash. Studies have shown that students with relevant internship experience make $10,000 more per year at their first job. Can you link the studies? Usually when you, when you quote studies, you link the studies. I don't see no links to studies. How many hours a week will I be expected to work? Work schedules vary. However, you can expect to work between 35 to 40 hours a week. Managers at our partner companies are flexible and it is common for them to allow you to take a few extra days off for a long weekend. You're not being fucking paid. How are you going to allow me to do something if you're not even giving me a damn paycheck? Are you serious? Can you imagine if, if your manager came in and be like, hey, sorry, you can't take that extra day off. Or what? What, you gonna fire me? I ain't making money. Get the fuck out of here. And here's the part where they say that this won't even guarantee employment. Will my internship lead to permanent employment? While there are no guarantees, it is common for a company to offer an intern full-time employment after their internship. Many Career Up alumni are working for their host companies abroad or at the domestic offices of their host company. Can we get some stats on that? Is it 10%? Is it 90%? Can we get some stats? We highly encourage our partner companies to hire Career Up interns. I bet I bet you do. However, these arrangements occur independently of the Career Up program. So is your career coach going to help you with that? Because if it occurs independently of the Career Up program, then those coaching sessions that you were talking about earlier with the benefits of working this internship don't apply. A typical workday goes from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. with a one hour lunch break. Boy, if you're not paying me money, I'm gonna take as many breaks as I want, as long as I want. Are you for real? And I'm still gonna put your name on the resume. What should I wear on the first day? We recommend all our interns wear business casual attire on their first day to create a good impression. Honestly, if you're not giving me money, I don't really give a fuck what you think of me. <laughs> Feel free to adjust your attire to match the office in days that follow. How much money will I need to cover the daily living costs while I'm abroad? It is possible to live on a budget as little as $5 a day. So you have to pay them money to be accepted for this job, job, and then you also have to pay for your living day to day. So I think they help you get a visa, which is not that hard. You just go online and fill out some forms. And then 
Um, oh, you have to buy your own air travel too. You gotta buy your own plane tickets and stuff to get there. Like, what are you paying for? I don't understand. In summary, we're not gonna say that career up is a scam. We're not gonna say anything like that because they're definitely offering some sort of services. But the premise of you paying money to be able to work an unpaid job is garbage absolute trash and i don't think anyone should ever pay money for the opportunity to be told what to do for free what a world we live in and what a joke i think this is but again that's my opinion so take it with whatever grain of salt you want and if you enjoy videos like these Maybe leave a thumbs up, hit subscribe, hit like, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you know any other companies like this you want me to break apart so that you can better understand your market as an entrepreneur, or as someone getting into the job market, whether that is changing jobs, switching careers, just graduated college. Like, don't get taken advantage of. Definitely don't pay money to work for free. So, appreciate you guys. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next one.